Hey, what's up everybody watching on YouTube? Uh, right now it's snowing like crazy uh, outside and I'm trying to limit my amount of time being on the road because it's actually pretty slippery and I don't want to get in an accident and if I don't need to be out there, I don't need to be out there. It's about, right now it's about 10.42. Um, but earlier today I had the idea of hooking my Roku up in my truck. And um, if you see that little light flash in there, that's the light on my Roku. And um, right now i'll try to get close is i've got and it looks kind of blurry but i've got uh drive-in movie cult radio go go playing right now and um what i did was uh, in the roku settings i went to the network settings and uh there is now it asks you uh gives you the option it says are you in a hotel or hotel or something hotel or motel or something so i put that in and then I put in my Wi-Fi password to my Xfinity. Now, it said direct connect. So right now, I'm not entirely sure if it's using, if it's still connected to the Xfinity or if it's actually using the Wi-Fi on my phone. So um, I got the volume turned down just, just for, you know, copyright stuff. But if you get a chance, check out the, the Roku. Uh, sorry, my finger wasn't there. Right, check out the Roku. Uh, there's a lot of good programming on it. Not a lot of, lot, you know, well, there is some mainstream stuff, but I like watching the obscure stuff, the the not so mainstream stuff. So I get a kick out of watching uh, stuff, you know, on the Roku. Um, when I get bored of watching just like regular regular traditional uh, television stuff, so the Roku has a lot of uh, features on there. But I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do right now though, and sorry for the shaky cam, but I'm gonna go back to the main screen and show you guys, you know. The selection of stuff that I can pull up here in my truck right now. And oops, do I got the remote pulled in the right way? Okay. Now that display is looking kind of weird. I don't know why that display came up looking like that. It's not really, it's like it's not really formatted properly to, to fit on the screen, but let's go to home. Okay, there we go. So, sorry for the glare. I'm curious if any of these other ones going to play. Now, I'm not sure. I mean, it may, you know, since I am back in my garage, it may have picked up my uh, home Wi-Fi. I'm not sure what's going on. But um, it'll be cool if the Direct Connect is actually using the, um, the Wi-Fi signal from my phone or whatever. Let's see if this comes up. It's really curious. It's taking a while but it, you know when you go through the settings to set up that network it does set from tablet or um, smartphone so maybe it is using that um, that thing so this is great uh, being able to uh, look at stuff like this. Let's see what else we got. Feature free. I said, I'm really curious what it's using right now. Where's my, well, let me go back to home. See if this somewhat radio plays. Yep, got audio. All right, so um, in my truck though, you could you could probably find another deck. I do have a Kenwood deck, um, and I did hook up the HDMI uh, connection on the back. So I had to buy some cables. Um, it didn't come with them, 
I also, um, I'm also able to hook up a Nintendo Switch into, uh, not a Nintendo Switch. Well, yeah, I can hook up a Switch in my car too. Um, you know, I could, the HDMI will go to the screen, but not necessarily. Um, I would want, if I, I would like to have bigger screens, you know, in here, but, um, you know, and, you know, and, and someone asked me a stupid question the other day, you know, I told someone I had a movie playing, you know, while I was in my car and then they're like, well, you, were you watching it while you're driving? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm smart enough to know not to watch it. You know, some, sometimes when I'm playing a movie in my, um, you know, my car, I'm just listening to the audio. You know, when I first picked up solo, I listened to the audio and then later I went back and actually watched the movie. So, um, no, nah, I don't, you know, everybody that's driving right now, just because they got screens in the car doesn't mean they're watching them. But you know, if you got screens in the back, the kids and stuff were watching them. But anyway, um, yeah, but I can hook up a lot of stuff in my truck because of the um, the HDMI input, and it'll display it to the screen. But you know, I say this is good when you know when I am parked waiting somewhere, and I can mess around with this stuff and watch, you know, get caught up on shows or do whatever I want. So, um, but not not at a stoplight. You know, I, I've made a, you know, I try when I'm at the stoplight to put both hands on the steering wheel the whole time I'm at the, on the stoplight because too many people are stopping at the stoplight and then they're just like, oh, now it's time for me to catch up on all my taxes. And when the stoplight turns, uh, you know, green, they're still sitting at the, they're, they're still sitting there like they're stopped. So um, I try to keep my hands on the wheel um, here. But like I said, this is this is cool for you know summer night. You want to sit out in your truck or sit outside and watch a movie or do whatever, have a little like in, you know a little driving. It's really cool. But um, like I said, I got a Kenwood deck, and um, there's probably other decks out there, and probably other setups where you could have you know multiple screens if you got a big SUV or whatever. But um, this is just you know simple for me. Peace out.